Hey everybody, welcome on back. Now let's talk about functions. A lot of the values provided in the default environment have the type function. A function is a piece of program wrapped in a value. That's a cool definition. I've never really heard that one before. Let's go ahead and grab this definition. Function. A function is a piece of program wrapped in a value. Cool. Uh, such values can be applied in order to run the wrapped program. For example, in a browser environment, the binding prompt holds a function that shows a little dialog box asking for user input. It is used like this. Prompt, enter password. EloquentJavaScript.net says enter password. Okay. Uh, so let's figure out what this is. This looks like an image. So this is one of those pieces of code that we can... What did that do? That didn't seem to do much. Uh, okay, so now we have it open. I think we can run this code. If we run this code, it should, there we go. So this is the environment they're talking about. Enter pass Cody Doty. Oh yeah, I was messing around with this earlier. Um, you know, whatever. Uh, so you can change this to anything you want. And so the idea is that this message uh, is displayed when we run the code. And you can run the code by clicking run code or else control or command enter. I'm going to hit command enter. This message is displayed. Excellent. Go ahead and cancel that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Executing a function is called invoking, calling, or applying it. And in case you thought that was confusing, uh, executing a function, that sounds like another vocab term. So executing a function. Executing a function is called invoking, calling, or applying it. It's fun. There's actually a couple of methods, which are like functions, that are called call and apply. And they work almost similarly, almost exactly the same, except for a couple of nuanced differences. And it's just one of those, like, oh boy, moments. Um, but anyway, uh, you can call a function by putting parentheses after an expression that produces a function value. And think of that as, like, prompt, and then we wrap uh, whatever we're calling prompt with, or whatever we're invoking it on, in these parentheses here. Uh, so, um, it produces a function value. Uh, usually, you'll directly use the name of the binding that holds the function. The values between the parentheses are given to the program inside of the function, and by that, this is the one value inside of this function that's being passed to the prompt uh, prompt program. Uh, the values between the, in example, okay, here we go. In the example, the prompt function uses the string that we give it as the text to show in the dialog box. Values given to functions are called arguments. So this up here is the argument to that function. Different functions might need a different number or different types of arguments. The prompt function isn't used much in modern web programming, mostly because you have no control over the way the resulting dialog looks, but can be helpful in toy programs and experiments. Unfortunately, there's going to be a bunch of those where it's like, You'll never use this, but here's an example of a concept that will be important later on. And yeah, you probably haven't seen a prompt in a while, although you do, right? You see them sometimes if you enter a credit card number on some browsers, or if you um, are trying to leave a site before you ought to, at least according to the browser, it'll send you a prompt that says, hey, are you sure you want to do that? So yeah, another set of concepts that we've gotten through, but that's it for this section. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.